Welcome to Field & Stream's Bow Setup Series. In this first segment, we're going to cover how to find the proper draw weight and draw length for your compound bow. Finding the proper draw length on your bow is critical for you to get all the performance that your bow has to offer. Oftentimes we hear about let off on a bow. That refers to how much tension comes off of the cam as you come to full draw. If you're too long in your draw length, you'll never reach that full let off. If you're too short in your draw length, it'll stop too close and you won't get the full benefit of that bow. So proper draw length is critical to get your bow's optimum performance. There are several different cam systems out on the market and each one is a little different when it comes to changing draw length. Some cam systems actually require that you change the cam in its entirety in order to get you to the proper draw length. Other cam systems require that you change the module with the right size in order to get you to that draw length. Some other cam systems have a rotating mod that actually enable you to change that draw length with the existing module on that cam. Today we will be using a rotating mod system found on this Bowtech experience. To properly measure your draw length, ask for a friend's help. You're going to need to hold your hands out and measure from fingertip to fingertip. Take that number, divide it by 2.5, and that will give you in inches your proper draw length. Let's start by securing your bow in a bow vise or laying it on a padded surface. Find the proper size Allen wrench and loosen your module screws and remove them from the cam. Now rotate that module to the proper draw length as indicated by your owner's manual or the manufacturer's recommendation. Once your modules are both in the same position and the module screws have been tightened properly, now let's focus our attention on the draw stop. In this case, we have two matching draw stops that need to be in the same numbering position as our cam module. Make sure to look at your owner's manual to get the proper draw length spec as indicated by the manufacturer. With the performance in today's high speed bows, we're getting more knockdown power out of this 60 pound bow than lots of 70 pound bows just a few years ago. Don't be over bowed. Shoot a bow weight that's comfortable to draw and more importantly, comfortable to let down. This might sound silly, but here's how I find a comfortable draw weight for my hunting bow. I'll sit in a safe position in a range, knock an arrow with my feet sitting straight out in front of me. I've found that this is the most uncomfortable position that I can possibly draw and shoot a bow from. If I can draw a bow and execute a good shot from this position, I know I'm not overbowed. Our bow is now set up properly with the right draw length and the right draw weight. Tune into our next segment where we will talk about proper rest setup for your bow.